Hello, my name is Mark Thompson and I'm Artistic Director of the Royal Lyceum Theatre Company. Time in the Codways is, is quite an elusive piece to wrap up in a little plot line, but it's one of J.B. Priestley's time plays where he used time to shine a light and create interesting perspectives on the travel of human beings or the values of human beings. Basically, the first act is set just after the First World War where there was a great sense of hope um, and for a future. Uh, they talk a lot about the opportunities of the brotherhood of man, um, of looking after each other, of sharing, of building something fresh and new. So the first act finds the family of Conways like that, who are a kind of you know, upper middle class family, if you like. In Act Two, you find it, them on the brink of the Second World War and things haven't quite panned out like they imagined. And you're invited to look at what has happened. And then ingeniously in the third act, you return to just where you left off at the end of Act One. And you get a chance to see again, perhaps why some of what happened, happened. Time the Conways is, is a kind of extraordinary play. It falls in amongst, as I say, the, the time plays of G.B. Priestley, and he was playing with the idea of shifting time within pieces in order to reveal things about character and about society. He was a very political writer, um, a great man for looking at what society was and what it could be. And I think what's extraordinary again about this play is if you're on the brink, if you've come out of something and you have opportunity, what do you do with it? And what you see with this particular group of people is not taking advantage of, not learning from the past um, in order to carve out a future that is richer and more rewarding and fairer. Um, and uh, you can't, I can't help but be put in mind of the fact there's been one or two lessons that could have been learned over the last five or six years and it's a great charting of, of, of why do people not want to see what is obvious and act on it. So what, is, what are the forces that keep, keep moving a little bit destructively and I think for Priestley in Time of the Conways he created these wonder, this wonderful family full of great vivid characters and a, a wonderful matriarch, um, Mrs Conway and it looks like this family of the future and that they're going to celebrate, they're playing charades, they're imagining what their political future and social future could be and when you get to the act two, you realise there's really only one person has risen and it's someone who's been looking after the money and making the money. Um, and so it's an interesting little parable, if you like, of, of, of you, you, what you take care of most and what you don't take care of will end up being what your future is.